Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many developers encounter when working with AWS API Gateway and Cores. Our viewer is using Zappa to deploy their application and has enabled Cores, but they're running into a snag. When they perform a Cores pre-flight check, they receive a 500 error with a message indicating an internal server error. Let's dive into the details and see how we can help resolve this issue. Welcome back to another tech video. Today I'm going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find the solution. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and you'll hopefully get to the resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's start by understanding the issue with your AWS API Gateway Core's pre-flight check. A 500 error indicates an internal server error, which often relates to configuration problems. First, ensure that your API Gateway is correctly configured for Cores. You mentioned that Cores is enabled in both Zappa settings and the AWS console. Let's verify the settings. Next, check the Options method in your API Gateway. Make sure it returns the correct headers such as Access Control Allow Origin, Access Control Allow Methods, and Access Control Allow Headers. If the configuration looks correct, review the CloudWatch logs for more details on the error. Look for any specific messages that indicate what might be going wrong during the request transformation. Lastly, if the issue persists, consider testing your API with tools like Postman or Curl to simulate the pre-flight request and see if you can replicate the error outside of your application. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If your course pre-flight check is failing, first check if your options method is using a mapping template. If it is, share that template. If not, try rerunning the course wizard in the API Gateway console to reset your configuration. And don't forget to redeploy your changes before testing in the browser. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The user mentions they don't have much experience with Zappa, as they currently use serverless for managing lambdas and API gateways. They notice that the options method response is linked to a model for application JSON. They point out that their configuration works fine without any associated models, suggesting that the options method shouldn't have a body in the response. They speculate that defining a model might be adding an unwanted body, despite it being set to empty. And that's it. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. And until next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.